All right, so this is the Achilles spring exercise. Excellent drill for the Achilles, as well as patellar tendon, but it's a little bit more Achilles dominant for jumping purposes or return to sport or improving athleticism in your vertical jump. The drill can be started with just about anybody. I do this with people post-op or after a surgery for the Achilles even. Um, again, just get clearance from your surgeon that it's okay to start doing these type of things. And you should already have a foundation level of strength before you even ever try to attempt this exercise people off with a, de a good degree of amount of assist by using a band attached to a pull-up rack. And all that you're going to do is just kind of hop up and down. So just little bunny hops. You can go as aggressive or as slow and as little of a jump as you feel comfortable. Um, and the, the bigger the band that you utilize, the more assistance that it gives you. And then eventually you want to work towards no band at all. So you're just forward line hopping forward and backwards over top of a line. The next degree would be still be on two feet, um, but then you would start doing a horseshoe shape. Um, so you hop up, back, over, up, back, back across. Get comfortable with this. The narrower of a distance that you jump across, the easier the exercise is. The wider a distance you start jumping across, the harder the exercise is, especially to maintain that integrity we were talking about at the ankle complex and avoid that over pronation. Uh, side of the equation where the ankle and the foot just collapses inward. Now once you can do all this with two feet, then it's time to start progressing to one foot. One foot with assistance, again however much band assistance you need to maintain ankle integrity and perform it somewhat dynamically. And keep in mind that this is just a progress and everybody's going to progress through these exercises at a different rate than one another. But band assisted single leg then going to forward and backwards line hops again with single leg and then going to the across or that horseshoe shape drill that we had done earlier um, where you jump forward and then back across forward and then back and across and repeat that for desired number of reps usually we're doing anywhere from three to ten rounds of that per side uh, if you're at, if you're doing it with single leg. Again, the narrower that horseshoe shape is, the easier the exercise becomes. The wider that horseshoe shape is, the harder the exercise becomes, especially as you're getting towards single leg to keep that ankle integrity. The final step of this would be, again, to adding that plate, about a two to four inch plate, to make you actually jump up and down off of a surface, which puts more demand, but helps develop that elastic quality of the Achilles even more so. Um, so again, if you need to start narrower as you go up in height, that's perfectly fine, and then start working your way back out. This exercise needs to be under control. It should not be sloppy in technique of the Achilles and the ankle complex is of the utmost importance for this exercise.